Hi and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about uh, remove silence from an audio region. And the way we do that is just to go on to here, right click on it, select split remove silence from audio region, right? So you can do that. Then you can see it here, it comes up like this and then you can just click on OK. But for now, I want to show the shortcuts. So the shortcut is Control X on the keyboard. That will give rid of that. Or I've got it programmed to marker number six here and that will bring it up as well. I got it a lot easier on there, but don't have to click on two buttons, just on one. And then just click on that and that will happen again. Go down onto this one, and I'll show you again, marker, and then and then just click on OK, and there you have it. And you have all your all your uh, tracks sort of tied it up. Now, why do I do this and not have just like the stems all the way down? Because when your computer is reading off a hard drive, an external hard drive like I do, which is, although the SSDs are still got limitations, uh, it's better to have uh, the silence cut out because that is not being read as a file off the hard drive so your plugins that are on that track here for example will not be reading because there's nothing there now if that was like all the way down to the beginning then uh that would be reading out even though i had stuff that i've cut out and i put on another track uh for example clarinet uh between the clarinet here you see there's there's space and that will just continue reading off the off the hard drive and uh you don't want that because that will take up memory i mean Nowadays, the, the powerful M chip computers doesn't really, really have an impact. But on old in, Intel, it does. So Intel machines, uh, you know, were a bit slower. Hard drives and stuff, that's very useful. I still do it just to make things tidy and just, to, you know, make it easier. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Ciao.